One method of fishing that's been kind of a mainstay for a lot of years, but I really feel like the last few years, especially with forward-facing technology that we have now, that's really come into play is uh, underspin fishing of some kind. Gamakatsu has really made that a lot simpler over the past two or three years with the introduction of the Gamakatsu underspin, which is just your standard version with the, the bigger hook sizes, three aughts, four aughts, and then you've got the Gamakatsu finesse underspin. Anytime I'm throwing smaller swim baits, two and a half to three and a half inch baits, I'm gonna throw the Gamakatsu finesse underspin. If I'm throwing those bigger baits, a 3.8, a 4.8, I wanna match the hook size, the size of the bait to the, the particular bait I'm throwing. And so that's when I'm gonna use the standard Gamakatsu underspin. You can catch fish really throughout the country on an underspin. I mean, using forward facing sonar, it's just a great way of mimicking any type of forage fish there is, you know, bluegill, shad, whatever you're trying to mimic, an underspin is a great way to do it. One of the biggest keys to throwing an underspin is just that added flash and vibration that you create. You know, the bait's got vibration, but that added flash, especially in a watercolor that's got a little bit of tint to it, things like that can really make a difference. So that little flash can get you bites when a lot of times you won't get them on just a standard swim bait. Another way, when you get into those situations and you are fishing a lot more cover, the Gamakatsu Spring Lock Spinner is an excellent way to rig baits. And just as I talked about with the underspins, you've got a variety of different size weights with different size hooks that allow you to rig any style bait, any size bait you want on that Gamakatsu Spring Lock Spinner. So be sure and check those out if you're looking to do some underspin fishing this spring.